Vince. Um, I, I, I occurred upon this bunch of people who were playing mad Irish music, but they were called Toyn then. They changed their name, they changed you know, their, their look a little bit as well, and they're now called Amiga Beat. So, Donal, Anya, and uh, Teddy from Amiga Beat. Welcome. Why, in the first place, did you change over, do you think? Um, well, we were doing folk music and uh, Irish music, and uh, we found it kind of difficult to get gigs, really. And we went into the kind of folk rock thing yeah. then, and we started getting better gigs, and eventually it evolved into a rock band then from that. Great, and this was over about a few months or years or what? Uh, six to eight months, roughly, around yeah. that. Yeah. It's very good. Um, Donald, did you find that you had to be very ruthless when you actually said, OK, well, OK, now we're used to playing uh, the bazooki, or we're used to playing certain riffs, now we're playing rock and roll, so we don't, we're not going to play that anymore, or, or what way did it happen? Yeah, well, you just found this. You might end up doing one or two songs with, with the other instruments, the, bazooka, the, the acoustic instruments, we say. Yeah. And then eventually it just wasn't worth bringing them along, you know? Yeah. And then as, as we got more and more of original songs together, we felt like we'll uh, stick to rock and yeah. I'll stick to guitar, you know? There's a lot of trouble with, with uh, acoustic sound and all this yeah. crack as well, you know? You were saying earlier on, yeah, the noise, just the sheer noise level, yeah. just the bazooki wouldn't go no. above a, a, an electric guitar, yeah? So, lots of things like that. So yourself and Anya do most of the writing in the band, right? Yeah. And do you find, Anya, that, uh, that there's a particular type of song that you tend to write? Well, not a particular type of song, you know, but seeing as there's two of us writing the music, it tends to vary quite a bit. Yeah. But um, I think it hits on a topical point yeah. most so, of the time. So you tend to write songs with a message, yeah? Yeah, with yeah, a message. So. Either, either personal, yeah. about personal things, or... Even political. political. Sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, Teddy, um, you've been over to France. We have, yeah. We're yeah. going again at the end of April, actually. Yeah. We're rehearsing a programme for the moment. Yeah. It's kind of strange, because being from Killarney, you kind of cut away in a lot of ways from, say, the Dublin thing, or Killarney yeah, and Killorglan, I'm told. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but you're cut away from a lot of the Dublin um, scene. Yeah, so it's strange, are, yeah. kind of, off to, to, to yeah. France to do the gigs. Well, yeah. We find, like... The, um, the promoter now that's bringing us off the fence, Eric is his name, um, he actually came down on holidays to, to Clarny, you know, to see what groups were around in that, you know, because we have a folk rock kind of vein. Right. He was interested in us. Well, speaking so of the folk rock, this song is called? Dreaming. Dreaming, and the band are called Omega Beat. Watch out for them in 1989. Omega Beat with Dreaming. <coughs> Should you feel your pain? 